Escura Podcast called Rosenberg. The guest tonight, DJ Gully, my man from 103.9. Wow, wow, wow. Look at the swagger, bro. Official. Escura Podcast called Rosenberg. My man. Good looking, bro. Thanks for coming in. Wow. Escura Podcast tonight, my guest, DJ Gully. Extraordinaire. 103.9 Killer. Yeah. I'm going to dig into his story tonight. We're going to find out about everything he's doing and where he's going. Stay tuned. You're in for a blast. Squirt Rosenberg, DJ Gully. One. My dude, we're going to chop this up. It's going to be amazing. Eskira Podcast for Rosenberg rocking in on another epic podcast tonight. Stupid. Yeah. That's the only adjective I can use tonight. We are cracking in with an epic guest tonight, but you know how I normally ring in the show. I want to take this moment right now to big up the entire crew. Bong, bong, bong. Thank you guys so much for holding us down. Yo, this whole movement that you see here uh-huh. is just a straight group family movement. So guys, I salute you. And of course, the craft services and the lady that keeps us fed, my wife. Thank you so much, Ellie, for being here. Bong, bong, bong. Happiness by food, hashtag me. Check her out on Instagram. We're having octopus. Mm-hmm. We're having uh, water lettuce cabbage. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have some exotic steak, yo. We at Escura Podcast, we eat right, organic, mm-hmm. and healthy. Mm-hmm. Thank you again, mama, for that. Big, big, big up, yes. big up, big up. Bong, bong, bong. Big shout out to the executive producer that's in the house watching things on the low, my boy Cheese. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, and as we get ready to rock in, my boy DJ Gully, the yeah. guest tonight. Yeah. Bong, 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 bong. <laughs> Official, my dude. Yes, yes. It's a pleasure. Yes. You know what? I can't even begin this podcast without feeling so I missed if I didn't ask you to turn around and go behind me from that gorgeous refrigerator oh, my that we keep stock just for this oh, moment. Oh, I have to. I have Please. To. So you know we have the double zeros, which is alcoholic free, but we also have the regular Heinies, which are brewed just as perfectly. We got to get it. We got to get it. Yeah. Let me open this for you real okay, quick. Yeah. Bomb. Nice. I'm going to give you that. I want to toast to your presence at this table right now. I'm my officially dog. SQR. <laughs> <Nice>. Yes. Mmm. <laughs> Enjoy that. Mm. That's what we do here. The best. Escura Podcast. We're redesigned to educate, mm-hmm. entertain, and encourage. That's what we do here. And we're going to dig through your story. Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm not going to even lie to you. So I did my homework. Mm-hmm. I listen to you daily. Mm-hmm. That's one of the things I look forward to. Mm-hmm. I got to hear DJ Gully because the way you put, stitch things together. Uh-huh tells me that there's a lot of history behind your knowledge of music yes so i want to dig into that i want to find out why the hell dj gully what a name like that yes and find out what you're doing right now Uh so as we get ready to dig into this escure podcast Uh for rosenberg dj gully dj gully let people know where they could find you on instagram and facebook if Oh, you can find mm-hmm. me at the real DJ Gully. You can spell it correctly. I'm not a D A T H E. Real DJ Gully. G U L L Y. I put the real DJ Gully because it's like if you was to search DJ Gully on Instagram or Facebook, you'll see a million cats pop up. And I've I've been DJ Gully for thirty years. <laughs> the I'm real DJ you. Gully. Yeah, I've been called actually Gully thirty years. So. I got to be the real DJ Gully, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't like a picked up name, you know? So let's go back even further than that and, okay. and, and really get to that. Can okay. I ask you, <clears throat> growing up, mm-hmm. when you were born, mm-hmm. you entered this world, mm-hmm. what was the family makeup like? What was that whole dynamic when you, bo- brothers, sisters, what was the family like? Yeah, I was, uh, I had an older sister, I had two older sisters, but in my, in my house it was just my older sister and my mom. My dad was there at the beginning, but he was here in and out, in and out, but... It was just basically me, my mom, and my sister coming up, basically, yeah. So, single mom home? Uh, but it, Pops was around, but, you know, they was just separated, so I, I wouldn't say single. Okay, but, I know, appreciate like, that. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. And I, and I really wanted to poke a little bit because I'm curious to understand your influences as you grew up. So, oh. it sounded like, <clears throat> and correct me if I'm wrong, mm-hmm. dad was around. Mm-hmm. So, was dad the fun person who would give you the breaks and like, allow you to do certain things, and mom was the, the disciplinarian? Yeah, basically, <laughs> basically, and my uncle too. I wouldn't say just my my father. My uncle too was the the uh, the fun and escape from seriousness when it comes to my mom's and all that. Oh wow! She grew into the, you know, 
the fun, but she always was that strict backbone, listen, we gonna do it this way or, or no way. <clears throat> I couldn't have turntables in my house until I was over 21. Why? She was not a fan of that. I had to go, she wanted me to have a, she didn't feel like this was gonna be a real career for me. She thought it was, you know. So let's go back a little bit more. So here you're coming up, two sisters, mom in the household, mm -hmm. going to school. Mm -hmm. What was your vibe through school like? Were you the... I was the DJ in school. I was, uh, say, um, I've been DJing <clears throat> parties and stuff since I was about like six. So, Come on, my dude. <laughs> yo, seriously, I was born a DJ, actually. I was born a DJ. So, like, my first, my, I, my, my first pair of turntables was like around nine. But the first party I actually did was like around six or seven. The first party I actually, no, that, that's what we're turntables. My first party I actually did was with cassettes. I see you got the cassette. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we still I got the cassettes. I had my music, I had my, my cassette set where, like, I, if I put this next tape in, I could, I have it set where, you know, I was like a DJ for, <laughs> I, I was born a DJ. Before that, I had the, what was the, uh, the Mario, the Mario game, the um, and you put it on a letter and you oh, go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I had those lined up, two of those. So, so, so okay, okay. So here's what's crazy. Here's yeah. what's crazy. Let's just go back okay. one more little bit of, of that. Okay. Looking back retrospectively now, mm -hmm. right? If you started that early, mm -hmm. who do you think, or what was it? that got you into DJing? Because you started at six. You started really doing it at six. Mm -hmm. At six, my dude, I'm still pronouncing words. At three, no, I, I say at six, but at three years old, um, it was my aunt's wedding and they had to hold me near the turntables the whole wedding. Oh, I was like hysterically crying. So they had to hold me at the, the turntables. So I, that was three years old. For you to see what was going on, to I calm to, you down. Yeah. Are you serious? I swear. But my father was a DJ and my uncle was a DJ. Okay, bomb. Yeah. It's in the jeep. Come yeah, on. It was, yeah. Wow. Yeah. What's your dad's name? My dad's name is Rodney. He, the DJ name was, he never, I don't think he had a DJ name. Yeah, they used to call him Digger though. His name was Digger. They called him Digger. But I don't ever, I don't know if he went by a DJ name. Wow. My uncle was DJ Buck. So... Let's go back and play devil's advocate for mm -hmm. a little bit. So do you think it's because, because mom, they were separated, correct? Mm -hmm. And the fact that he was a DJ, she didn't want you to become a DJ? Uh, you think that had something to do with it or? Nah, she just ain't feel that it was going to be a career. She wanted me to get a career. She just mom think, does, yeah. yeah, that's what moms do. She didn't think that was, you know, she thought that was you know, she thought that was just fun and partying and la la la. la. Yeah, she yeah, didn't yeah. really think like I was, and I had my mindset from there, like, I'm not doing this. I had one job in my life. I'm not knocking nobody that's going up there and getting a job and doing the nine to five thing, but I'm like, Ugh. I had a movie theater job. I, I, was, I was like, I'll do the movie theater for you, but I want to do um, Rip the Ticket, Theater 7, Theater 6. So the dude in front of me was like concession. So I'm like, uh. He's like, oh, signed him up real quick. Boom, boom, boom. He got the job. He was like, what do you want? Who are you here for? I totally forgot what I was here for because that guy got the job so fast. I'm like, concession. You were supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to be the. I don't know those guys' names, but they had me behind the thing with the making the nachos. Yeah, giving me too much, too much sauce. So people coming up, yo, Gully, what's up? Yo, what you doing here? Yo, what's up, man? You ain't DJ no more. I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, yo. What age was this? This was like, I, I, I want to say like 2019. I say like 19, 18, 19. Which means you've been DJing for a while then. Yeah, because like around the summer youth time, I wasn't getting a summer youth job. I was making more money as a DJ. Then I, so I wasn't getting a summer youth job. I was a DJ in the summer. All right. I'm lit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> So, yeah, so then I started having to put mixtapes on my little booth. <laughs> when the people pull out like that, you know, you know, oh yeah, I'm still DJ. You see that I got the CDs here. <laughs> <laughs> in the movie theater. And, yeah, You're right. Then, the I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't take it, then I had to get out of there. Like, wow. That's when I had to go super hard as a DJ. Like, no, nah, we not going. <laughs> I can't have nobody thinking that I'm playing with this. You know what I'm saying? All right, so for, for, <laughs> for DJs, because here's what's so funny. 
I consider myself a DJ. Mm -hmm. I stitch a couple of things together, mm -hmm. and you can hear my stuff on SQR podcast yeah. on uh, on the on the Podbean. However, uh, can I go granular for a little bit on mm -hmm. the DJ thing? Yeah. Since you started so early, do you remember the first time? Because you were talking about you had to see the turntables, to, you were crying to calm you down. Mm -hmm. But do you remember the first time you were behind turntables and you actually started playing and mixing? Mm, I don't think I can remember that day. I appreciate that. <laughs> no, I appreciate um, that. Fast forward a little bit more. Mm -hmm. When do you think the light bulb went off for you to be like, yo, I want to do this? I have a picture. Can I show you the picture? Also funny, you are going to show us that picture. Can, yeah, can you, you show me picture. that picture, please? I can show you the picture. Let me show you this picture because this picture here is like as a... Uh, I think the light went off on this day in this picture. <laughs> what day was this? Do you remember the this, day? I was, I was three years old in this picture. Okay, I got to see this. You got to see this. this picture. And what's so it's funny right is... Here. Look at the first one right there. It's, I, that's, that shows you the, the levels where I come from. You guys can zoom in on that. Wow. I see you right there. Look at that. With your red tie on, your <laughs> suit. The red tie. Um, and the headphones and a With big that, smile on your face. You, you see that face right there? That's where I think it went off on me right there. I'm like, I love you. I, I love that. Like, <laughs> you can just tell. Like, Escura Podcast, Score Rosenberg, my man, <laughs> DJ Gully. Yeah. Sharing. Wow, what a photo, bro. That's crazy. But then you look, the evolution now was. I'll say I was like 12 right there, 12, 13. That's when I started doing, getting parties done. Like Officially. Is, yeah, I'm, I'm DJing the whole night from 10 to 4 a.m. Like, yeah. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to mm -hmm. come back. Yeah. We're going to dig into where this music vocabulary and variety comes from. Mm -hmm. And then we want to find out what he's doing now and the movement he's making. Escura Podcast, Cole Rosenberg, yeah. DJ Gully, devout father, yes. and the killer DJ right now, 103.9 Middays, official. Yeah. Stay tuned. Up next, one, part two. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Nigga, the hate. I done made myself hot. This is me against the world. I'm ready to get this paper, G. You with me? I done made myself hot. This is me against the world. I'm ready to get this paper, G. You with me? I done made myself hot. I'm the hot trail. I'm the hot trail. I'm the hot trail. I'm the hot trail. Boom, SQR Podcast for Rosenberg rocking in. Yeah. My guest tonight, DJ Gully. Yeah. DJ, I mean, even when I say that right now, I can't believe you're sitting here across from me. Right. I'm also funny, I'm going to drop a jewel on SQR Podcast. Mm. If you think it, believe it, and take action, mm. you'll make it happen. That's a fact. That is a fact. Um, uh, that's a jewel right now because I have listened to you many times. As mm -hmm. a matter of fact, Ray Dijon mm -hmm. had a show on Saturdays. That's how, that, yeah, Ray, shout, big, big shout to Ray. That's how I got in on Monday through Friday. Not only do I know that, right? Mm -hmm. Because guess what? I'm in my backyard. Mm -hmm. I'm cleaning up, doing some landscaping, and I have some outdoor speakers. So I have 103.9 on because they play the perfect mix mm. and you came on and Ray Dijon is doing his show and you're playing a break in between each mm -hmm. and what you were playing I'm like yo this dude is nice mm. and then I hear you on the regular weekdays with La Loca and I'm like ah oh, guy my dude and so we left off mm -hmm. where you're nice mm -hmm. very young age mm -hmm. here's what I don't understand the vocabulary of music the genre of music where did that come from where how are you able to stitch that together um i've heard you play bro mm -hmm. um i guess that's from djing any type of party i got like from my, my neighborhood is mostly not let me not say mostly but they're elderly so i do the say i do the the precincts um national night out where it's all ethics of, you know, you may have Chinese, you may have Spanish, black, everything out there. I do the senior citizens um, or the NAACPs and the, and the, all of those functions where it's like, it's it may be from 35 to 75, where that's, but they all want to party. 
And I noticed one thing being a DJ, nobody wants to feel old. Ooh, that's a jewel right there. Yeah. Say that again? Nobody wants to feel old. Like so if you you giving you feeling like they're old and you playing all this old music because you think they no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. You give them what they want, you lure them in, you you let them know what, you know, yeah, I got that for you, but no, we're going to I'm going to give you this. All right, so you are aware mm -hmm. that a DJ, especially a good DJ, especially like yourself, it's not only playing music. You're like a, a doctor of some sort. Yeah, a doctor. Yeah. People got to have, like, that's why I got to keep my mind focused. Well, I can't be upset. I can't be stressed about nothing. Because when I'm, when they hire me, they want me to uplift them. I'm, I'm here for a good reason. Like, it's never a down. Maybe, I mean, I may not say a downer. But even if it's a downer situation, like I did a funeral one time. Like, like the repass and you know people want to be lifted after that like mm. you know what I'm saying like can I ask you and we want I want to kind of navigate real quick but I want to ask you this and um, do you remember the first time you DJ and it was a flop no nah, never yo toast to that <laughs> nah, <laughs> get shot, God bless God bless to that because I seen a lot of flops I seen cats woo you've never had a flop never Never had a flop where they'd be like, oh, who is this guy? What is he doing? Ne never. Why is he playing Frank Sinatra what is he behind doing? Biggie? What is he doing? I never had that. Never. <laughs> so, Not once. As a DJ, one thing we know that DJs do is they attract a lot of girlies. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're nice because mm -hmm. you're setting the tone for the party. Mm -hmm. How did you navigate the attraction, the attention? I I can I kind of always had the attention, so I always was like the that's gully in them, you know. That, I've always had that, so it was like from young I always knew how to control. I always like I, I think I've, I'm a young with an old soul. That's why I, that's how I should say it. Mm. Young with an old soul because I got in trouble law wise. Thirteen, I, I, I never been in trouble ever since. You know what I'm saying? You only got to show me once, <laughs> and I'm going I'm gonna learn from can, it. Can I ask you this? Because there's another young DJ listening to this story right now. Mm -hmm. You know, you're my complexion, mm -hmm. and he's like, "Wow, I know who DJ Gully is." And if he doesn't, he's gonna Google or go to your Instagram and be like, "Yo, let me see who this guy is." And when he goes, I'm like, "Oh, this guy's official." Mm -hmm. So let's just dig a little bit further. 13 you brought some problem with the law mm -hmm. what was that about do you think it was a young bad decision dumb. on your young and dumb young and dumb you even think it you, you, you jumped it because i was gonna say was it was it peer pressure or just nah, young and dumb because i was the i was the leader I, I wasn't doing nothing i wasn't doing no following people they doing what i say not to toot my own horn nothing like that but i was the person that everybody looks up to everybody looks to do you know what gully says so it was young and dumb that's the only reason my dude the name Gully. Mm -hmm. Where's that from? Gully was actually my first words. I used to, <laughs> <laughs> I used to, I used to be like Gully, 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 Gully. So they named me like my grandfather or my sister. They, they fight recipes of my grandfather. They used to fight on who named me that. But I used to be like my name. I used to be like Gully, 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 Gully when I was a baby. So they just named me that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, so that's a home name, home nickname. That wasn't no street picked up name. Yeah, yeah. I came out the house. Every per, every member in my family called me Gully. My grandmothers, my, you know, I go to family reunion. Everybody called me Gully. Nobody calls me by my real name. That's amazing. So, People know me my whole life. Not to cut you. No, no, and, go ahead. And don't know my real name. <laughs> People know me my whole <laughs> life and still don't know my real name, which is fine. I, I wanted to, to, to you know, the, before we wrap on the second segment, I wanted to get to culminate, culminate a another pivotal moment in your journey as a DJ. Mm -hmm. So you're rocking from early. Mm -hmm. You have the confidence. Never flopped. Mm -hmm. You're moving nice, mm -hmm. right? Besides 103.9 or before 103.9, do you remember a major opportunity for you to for you to play somewhere or in front of an audience that you were like, "Yo, this is major right now." Mm. If you could think about it. Mm, let's we've seen before one oh three nine? Yeah, before one oh three nine. I remember School of Hard Knocks had a um had a um I think it was a Christmas party or um it was a Christmas party. I forgot what it was, but it was a party in in the city and they had DJ Ace on the 
was it DJ Ace? Yeah, DJ Ace used to be on 107.5. Yes, yeah, he's yeah. nice. Yeah, he's he used nice. to be nice. He's nice. He was nice. Yeah. I was young too. And they had him in the big room and they had me in the little room. They had to come shut my room down <laughs> because everybody was in the little room and I'm killing this dude, like killing him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I was young and I wasn't even, I, I, I wasn't thinking like I'm killing him. And I'm just in here rocking, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, but they, yeah. they came and shut my room down because of that. And my, my uncle, you know, my uncle, they and the, my father and them, they knew what it was. So they like, oh, no, I don't know, no, 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 you know, like, yeah. I don't know, you know, but that was the illest party. Like, not say illest, but like, it was the last one I knew, like, yeah. This is real. I'm somebody. Like, cause I already I already knew Ace. I used to I used to pay it to, I used to check in on him. He scratch was crazy. Like, so I'm like, that was ill for me to shut him down like that. It was like it was ill. Like. Well then, you know, I shut a little Go, go in, go in, go, go in. I did a lot. Let me see. Go in, go in. Before one of one one oh one of one of I want pre one was it was um I'm booked at a all all white party, right? Me and Kid Capri's DJing. Ooh. All right? All white. They, and then look. Kid Capri's. I've they, seen this Kid This is Capri the godfather. Right? They put it as the, he's the godfather of DJing. <laughs> but that's what it was put to me. You know what I'm saying? Because look. The cats that I look up to as DJing don't DJ no more. So I ain't out trying to. I'm not. I'm not Who are those cats? Who are my those father cats? and my uncle. Those cats retired. So I, I I didn't I wasn't looking up I wasn't listening to the radio I wasn't chiming I wasn't buying mixtapes I wasn't chiming into these DJs that get these this 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 God uh how you want to say it crown. persona yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I I give it to them because they did it before me they was out in the public ah before me but I'm not you know what I'm saying I can't give you what everybody else is giving you because I wasn't tuned into y'all like that. I so, wasn't paying attention so to y'all. Before we continue that story, mm -hmm. are you telling me that you were only influenced by your uncle and your father's DJ? I, you know, I would listen to the radio. You know, I listen to flexes and all the stuff like that to the radio, but I'm not, oh, I'm going to use that mix. Oh, I'm going to go. No, I'm, I need that record. <laughs> like, that's what I'm going to do. Like, that's what I was paying attention for. Like, oh, I need these records. Uncle Tony, yo, send, yo, buy these records for me. Like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, that's what I was listening for. But to get back to that party. Please, please. Right? Please. So, all white party. I'm here the whole party. I rented the club, the turntables. He only wanted to work on 1200s around the time, right? So, I'm like, all right, fine. The club ain't have 1200s. I rented the club, the 1200s. I was here the whole day. This dude got a, he got a uh, open up DJ, which was kid new. And then. <laughs> this is how big, this is how big Kid Capri is. Yeah, he has an open up DJ. And I didn't know nothing about it. My face and his face is on the fly, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, at first I'm like, what? I'm, I'm getting paid regardless. Like, yeah, you ready? And then you know what's so crazy? Kid New was in the in the contest to get to the boombox at noon. Like he was in he was somebody I had to go against to get to the boombox at noon. I knew he was like, damn, <laughs> this guy again because that I'm telling you. With, uh, slow down, slow down, <laughs> yo. So it's your podcast called Rosenberg. Yeah. So we, we're skipping through a lot of stories. So let me just kind of because what he, what 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 DJ Gully sharing with us is is this epic moment at the yeah in, for in, the for, yeah, yeah for right? the for with, the party with, with, with DJ Kid Capri yeah. No, that was a little jab no, when no, I no. said that. No, 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 but, no, but we I, 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 I want to go back to that. I want to finish that journey. Mm -hmm. And I know my guys are telling me to rap, but screw mm -hmm. you. Here's what we're going to do. Um, so you're up on the marquee. His warm-up DJ goes. Mm -hmm. Then then listen. He comes, right? He got. He's doing his thing, but he don't got the party doing. He don't have them. Basically, right? So I get on. I, I wasn't even. I didn't come with nobody on the stage with me. I came by myself. I got on the stage. So you're watching him play. I'm like, and then before he even got on, this is what I said. Yo, Kid Capri, nice to meet you, big homie. And they, they tell me I'm like you. Now I, I gave him all his props, but I'm like, yo, stick around for my shit because <laughs> I'm that new nigga around here, right? I'm glad I said that. So when I'm on the. I get on the stage. I ain't come with nobody. I'm by myself. And I rented the club to 1200s. Like, we, I mean, I'm in here. You know I'm on the flyer. You, you put the flyer up. That was fine. Wrong. I, two seconds on the stage. I'm like, because these people know me. It, yeah. His man is just calling me to the side. Yo, 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 yo. I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? Yo, man, you know, can compete on like the body on the stage. You and he, I'm like, bro, I'm, you know, I'm, he's like, yo, I know, man, I know. <laughs> So now I'm like, 
what? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm like this. I'm about to find. I'm, I'm about to finish them. So I'm the mother. I went. I came off the stage. I don't never. I'm over here preparing records. I don't never do this. Cause I'm, <laughs> I'm preparing records. It's about to be a showdown. I went to another. I went to the side. Told one of my. I told two of my people. I told another DJ and I told another another person. I'm like, yo. I'm about to give it to King and Green. Like, he trying to play. They wasn't believers. They was like, yo, chill. Like, you ain't. <laughs> I said, oh, <laughs> yo, three o'clock. Look, three o'clock came. I jumped on the stage. I was like, no, my first, first a.m. Three a.m. That's when I got back on. My like, dude, party's about to be over. I'm like, yo, they killed me. He got on at one to three to three. That's a prime energy I'm thinking hour. I'm opening up until he get hit. Then he got this open up DJ. So I really ain't. These people ain't really hear me. So now, look, 3 o'clock. I'm like, yo, tell him I'm ready now. <laughs> the manager. He like, yo, I'm the... No. <laughs> yo, the people started screaming. If you on this live, yo, people started screaming like, ah. <laughs> I said, yeah, like, what's up? Like, what, what? What? Like, yo, they start screaming like I was a celeb, celeb, like, for real. I'm like, yo, do you, do you remember? I the remember the, you, I remember the first record you dropped. I remember it like it was yesterday. I came on with, look, I came on. This is probably why he was he wanted me on the stage. The person that was paying us asked me to go up there like three times, tell him to put Lifestyle on. He never played the song at all. I came on with, just a, this is all white, grown and sexy party. I came on with Neo and, and Remy Martin. Ooh. Doom, doom. Doom, doom, we all fit in this room. I got them. All the white, they, they like this. I got them. They first record. Look, like Ralph, he booked Ralph McDaniels to um, record it. Yeah, yeah. He, he turned the camera on. <laughs> Video music box, Gully, we in there. Like, it's, it's going down now. It's time. It's the party start now. The second record I come on with. Shorty, something special. You already know. He said, just woke up, just shut the shop. I got him. Wow. They like this. Look, the person that booked us, he moved his section from the booth VIP to the stage. Like, he like, fuck that. <laughs> the whole shit. The whole, every, look, look, the nigga that's the two niggas I tried with what the DJ, right? I ain't gonna say his name because he's my man. <laughs> he tried to come to MC on the mic. I was like, hell no, man. <laughs> hell no, you can't be a part of this. I'm sorry. Nah, nigga, like. Yo, the, SQ, a podcast, Cole Rosenberg, more, my boy more. DJ Gully. The third yeah. record, Lifestyle. Oh. <laughs> Yo, knock the niggas out the park. Out the park. Lifestyle. Boop. Like his head. Boop. Yo, amazing. But then I look. I had to earn my respect. He he following me now. Shout out to Kick Capri. That's the big homie now. He follow me on the ground. We follow each other. He, I say what's up. He's he's Yo, when he we, see me. To Capri, he know bro. what's up. You know mm. that's what I, you know. But it shouldn't be like that. When you see when you see this this is what I'm. This is what's gonna happen when I get to the next level. When I'm next. When I'm lit lit like that. When I see somebody young and he's hungry and he coming up like that. I'm not gonna no. I'm not gonna no. You come. What's up, homeboy? boy? You is nice. Let me get you right, right, so you can, so you ain't gotta go through what I went through, cause they don't like to see the cat like this, nice like that. And I know I'm nice. They don't like to see that. Nobody Ooh, like to see that. Jewel. What I, what I, what I went, what I be going through to get to. I'm telling you, these cats don't like to see like, this. Yeah. And this, that's what's messing it up. You go to a party right now, people on their phones, people not, ain't nobody partying, y'all, cause y'all not real rocking. Y'all, you supposed to get with me. When I was younger and a, a dude was nicer to me, I got with him. Yo, do that again. I bet you can't do this. And that's why how we get nicer. Like, you know what I'm saying? We don't, nah, that nigga too nice. I ain't trying to. You get with him, like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, hey, That's how it's supposed to go. Boom. Like. SQR Podcast. Score Rosenberg, DJ podcast, Gully. Man. Wow. Yeah. Yo, thank you for getting in, my dude. Yeah. We'll take a quick break. Come back, chop this yeah. up. Wow. What a... Oh. I wanna be, be what I wanna be. If 
I work hard at it. <clears throat> Yo, that's hard. <clears throat> Go in. <clears throat> A.T. Jones or a band director. Wow. Obscure podcast called Rosenberg DJ Gully. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. Yo, I like that. <laughs> Toasted yeah. that one too. <laughs> Bomb. Yeah. Mm. Jack of all trades. You can check some of my music out. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, it's G as you know, it's on title, all that good stuff like that. You know, rapping got me able to be able to talk being a DJ. I never talked as a DJ. When I was all those young young pictures, never I did the whole party, but I didn't say a word on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> word. Why? I, I, I was nervous. I, I ain't have nothing to say. I felt and now like I, you are the DJ on 103.9. On 103.9. And you're talking through each break. Each break. Talking to No, I'm mm-hmm. talking about when live in the party. Like, you know, that radio is radio. You know, you Yeah. But you, when I'm live, it's different. Like Where do you think a, you build up that confidence from? From being an artist, from being a rapper, I, if I I felt like if I could rap in front of you, I gotta say something on this mic yeah. to these people. If I'm so, DJ. you went from a DJ to a rapper. Yeah. What was the rapper name? Um, it's G. S G. No, no, it's G. Oh, it's G. Yeah. Oh, nice. Wrote the whole shebang. Yeah, it's, it's, I got some fire too. Like you know, I, I, I'm like a perfectionist. I'm okay, a Virgo. So drop me an acapella right now. Oh, it's a boss. Yeah. And then he said, um. He said, hold up. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, give me, give me, give me the. Uh, here we go. Um, uh, 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 uh. Go in. Come on. Three. Right, here four. we go. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I've never been like. Yeah. I'll take that stump. Yeah. I'll take that stump. Yeah, but funny. you know what's so funny? When we do the when we do the closeout set. Yeah, I, behind, I, when I get behind my in my element, that's when yeah, I'm that's when I'm gonna drop it. Yeah. yeah. So that's when we're gonna hold you up to that. Yeah. So so as we get ready to go through this with, with DJ Gully, mm-hmm. and as I said before, I wanna take this moment right now as we get ready to crack into segment four of this beautiful podcast. Bro. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, digging into your power, into your history, how you are motivated and what you're doing right now. I, uh, I just want to take this moment to, number one, big up the, this month that we're celebrating, the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yes, yes. And that's why I'm wearing this actual sweatband right now that represents every woman that's actually gone through that, mm-hmm. died from that, mm-hmm. recovered from that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, please get yourself tested. You know, we here at SQR Podcast and SQR Pro Studios are pro woman's health. Without you, we men would be nothing. Yes. So as we get ready to dig into this last segment, DJ Gully, mm-hmm. navigating everything, growing up, discipline, staying focused on your craft, mm-hmm. getting better on it, going up with some, going up against some giants. Great, DJ Capri, DJ mm-hmm. Kid Capri, Kid Capri, Mr. C, Mr. C. And you left off where you were on a boat. Yeah, we. we yeah. And I want to hear this story because you can't go anywhere. People can't get off. You can't swim to. Can't the- you can't leave? And then the people was like actually see the people was doing they people was more rude with Mr. C like. People were coming over. When are you getting on, Gully? Like over the turntable, you know? <laughs> and it's like I don't know. I don't. I don't know what he was. I don't know what he thought, bro. Cause no, but why? We well, hold we, up. We, but Mr. We, C, Mr. C rocks apart. He rocks apart, and me and him rocked before. So and then I'm bringing the equipment to this boat ride. You know I'm playing. I'm not no sound man. Oh, okay. I can be a sound man, but I'm not a sound. That's not my profession. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm booked on this flyer. You promote. You promoted the flyer too, bro. So look, the boat was on a, out on the early cruise. It came back late. So now we're bringing the stuff on while the people are loading on that's for the night party, which is us. Yeah. So by the time I got the stuff hooked up, I put like three records on Mr. C want to play. This is like 12. We about to sail off. So I'm like, huh, you open it? All right, whatever. My pops is here and my uncle's here. So now this is the problem because... If these cats is here, I'm going super off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? They don't go to no parties. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, man, both of them was here. And and Donovan. That Donovan is how I get my reggae. My, my uncle used to take me. My uncle used to be in a group called Libra Force. And there was a reggae DJ with him and Donovan. So all three of them You're going to Donovan Levy? No, no, no. It's another Donovan. Okay, Donovan. Okay. Yeah, but DJ Donovan. Okay, DJ my, Donovan. Okay. My Donovan. Okay. So, all right. So, um, they all three was there. So, these is my guys that I get everything DJing wise from. So, I'm like, 
I want to show you. He better not be on that tonight. Like, I'm gonna let you go ahead. You open up. Go first, yeah. So it's like, it's like two thirty. Like, I'm like, bro. Like, when when we like this is about to turn around. We about to sail back in. Like, we think now. I'm like, hold up, man. The same thing that came over in the kicker pre party. I'm like, oh, this guy trying to play me, man. So now, long story short, the promoter had to come over and tell him. I'm like, oh no, hell no. I'm about to go crazy. Because you saw what he was doing. And and for no, the promoter has to come over here and tell you know I'm DJing tonight, bro. Yeah. I'm come over on, here dude. like this. People coming over. When are you getting on going? Like they, they over the turntable pointing like they you know I'm supposed to be DJing, bro. So now I'm like this, I gotta give him First record played. He was like, oh, we're not gonna. Because not Mr. Gonna C no. played every. No, Mr. C was yeah. like, we're not gonna. We need a ratchet cleansing right now. A what? No, a ratchet cleansing. He, he, he was around oh, he, that he time. He was. Started talking all that. He was talking this. He, he wasn't playing no rat. Like, I guess he was. I know Mr. C. And he was like, no ratchet, not ratchet cleansing. No, 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 no. I came on like, you gonna get this ratchet shit down. <laughs> not like. <laughs> <laughs> like we went, you know, <laughs> well, I went crazy in that part. Like, so now I feel like if those are the two top, top tier DJs, you know, you got there's other cats out there that's like, you know, but I don't feel like they top tier because you know, I right, feel like so, they're equal to me. So here's here's the deal, and thank you so much for being so granular with that story. Yeah. The guy who was watching this podcast or listening to this podcast. The confidence. Where do you think, or how would you express to somebody that confidence they need to have that you had to go up against some giants like that? Or giants if you don't have confidence, period? if you don't have confidence, you don't have nothing. I feel what because the, yo, that's a jewel, right now, my dude. Just because of all of that, right now, I did all of that. I'm not booked every night. There's DJs that's whacker, whacker to me, and that's not no hate, but they're booked out here every night. So you. If you don't have confidence, I could have been like, man, screw this DJ. I'm like, they don't, don't want to hear me, DJ. Like, I only got the radio going. Oh, oh, oh. I could been, I could have been thinking that way. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you don't got confidence, you don't got nothing. Confid- I know somebody going to hear this work. What a jewel! You and know? guess what? Somebody did because I did. What? And that's why you're here right now on Escure Podcast. That's, yo, oh, yo, yo those to that, bro. Let me get you know I mean? mm. Yeah, that's crazy though. Like, as, as we get ready to wrap. Um, one of the marquee under your name is Devout Father. Mm. And when, I, when we spoke to you, it was so funny, Gully. Let's go back a little mm-hmm. bit. Mm-hmm. And now we get ready to wrap. I want to be straight up with you. I mentioned how I heard you on the radio. I mentioned the impression you made on me as a DJ. And I know how you play. And I know the tricks that you do. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I'm like, I can't believe he stitched that together. He mm-hmm. must have this going on. So I'm really locked into you as a fan. Mm. Then when I, booked, when I sent you an Instagram hit up, I said, yo, I want to hear your story. You hit me back, yo, let's do it. I told the crew, they were like, your accessibility, mm-hmm. your, 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 your reasoning to wanting to share, mm-hmm. I salute you, my dude. I appreciate that. For real, for real. Hell yeah. And then what's killer is when you said, check out my son. Mm-hmm. I looked at the footage. This guy's crazy. <laughs> what's your son's name? Giovanni. Tell Giovanni. me about Giovanni. He's like amazing, man. He he's born a DJ. Like they told me, I was born a DJ. I showed you that picture. Now I get to see it, like and like for myself, like because and I, he's way advanced than what I was. I wasn't doing that at six. <laughs> that's, what look, he's doing right now at six. You at six? That's at six. I started doing a little, but I wasn't doing that. The, the cats that was DJing back in the day wasn't advanced and doing all that for him to. Take that in for, for me to take that in To be that nice You know what I'm saying It was You know how the cats Was DJing back in the day But the, the, the You know what I mean The turntables were still Facing this way yeah. You know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> You know he, he get the turntables To the side style You know like He's the different He's coming up You know That's ill And then he's learning On a, 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 a laptop Which makes it It gives him An easier But Harder Way of learning Here's what Does that I, make sense to you? Here's what I've, I was impressed by is how, not only how proficient he was, but I saw you in him, mm-hmm. you know, through, you know, his talent, 
his command of the, the, the one and twos and everything he was doing. And I saw that you were a very hands-on father. Mm -hmm. And in this world where, you know, no disrespect, but people of our persuasion or mm -hmm. absentee dads, mm -hmm. we're not even there, period. Yeah. You know, the fact that you're so involved in your son's life, I big that up. Yeah, because I couldn't have nobody else doing that. You know what I'm saying? He's autistic. So how can I, how, how is that, how can I even think that, like have some other guy Slow or up, somebody else? You're telling me right right now, that kid that was on the one and twos. Yeah. He's autistic. He's autistic. Shout out to young Giovanni. He's autistic. He's like the illest autistic DJ in the world. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He's like, he doesn't, you, you're not going to have like a conversation with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he know what it is. He, you know, he's, he's learning every day. He's in one of those, like a schools just catered for him and yeah, all that. Right, so right. He comes back with better results every day. And I, I think he's going to be able to get past where, you know, where the society's like labeling him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think he's going to overcome it. He's just a little, you know, a little slower than others. But he's however like, much faster in other areas. Much, but much faster in other areas. You see that because they got DJs that's professional hit me on Instagram and telling me, "Yo, thanks, man. Your, your son's better than me, man." Wow. People don't even think to, to want to do those things, and then he don't want to let the music rock. So I'm like, and then, I was like, "Come on, you gotta let it play in there. just to be in the DJ." And so, and then somebody wrote, "Yo, he's a turntablist." And I'm like, yeah, that's right. Yo, talk to Giovanni. I'll be, forget, be forgetting those that yeah. that side of DJing. Like, there's like the, you know the executioners and all that. He yeah. might be one of those. Like, bomb. SQ a podcast called Rosenberg, the one and only DJ Gully. <laughs> yeah, really being vulnerable and sharing everything. And what's so funny when people hear you on um, the radio and when they listen to this podcast, they're gonna realize there's so much more substance behind who you are. Yeah, this is what keeps me going. Like. Like you telling me, oh, yo, I listen every day. I get a message or a text from somebody every day, like, or they might be sending me the picture of them recording their radio. That's what fuels me, like, because I don't have, I'm on, I wouldn't say I don't have support, but, like, I don't have that, like, I'm my own fueler. You know what I'm saying? Another I don't have jewel. nothing to fuel me. Another like, jewel. But my own self. You know Another what I'm jewel. Yo, on the podcast, when you say something profound, we call it dropping a jewel. Yeah, you just of course. A jewel, of course. Yeah, of course. Put them in that. Yeah. yeah. Bing. This is the jewel jar. These are the jewel, <laughs> jewel jars. Just <laughs> keep on. <laughs> Fill up the all yeah. the jars. <laughs> no, I like that. But what's so funny is, if we all did that, if we all were our own biggest fans, Guess what? Because not to cut you off, because that's, that's that that be the problem. We be looking for something to fuel us when we can just fuel ourselves. But dude, and to, look, check this out, and I can tell you again, as a DJ, and I'm a DJ where I'm not gonna blend. I mean, I try to say stuff with my records. I try to. It's an art to mm -hmm. me. It's mm -hmm. lit. And when I hear you play, it's like listen to Picasso paint. It's a. It's a. Yeah. Yo, my dude. It's, oh, yo, it's it. like <laughs> for real, my dude. <laughs> it's like listening yeah. to Picasso paint with audibly ah. you know so as we get ready to close on this wow wow because you know what's so crazy i have like a tw it's a i think it's a brother and sister twins either or sends me a message like that every day like like yo you you are like, ah, like yeah so yeah you know, i'll be feeling that yeah but i just don't you know so <laughs> do like, me a favor whatever you do you know what let me just do with this real quick um <laughs> before we close before yeah, we close right. as a dj and a seasoned dj mm -hmm. My guys are giving me the raps. Okay. As I said before, screw you. Um, your top five, D, your top five rappers. Five, top your, five your rappers. Top, your top. Your is not the. You're not not the best. Your top five rappers. Go. Top five rappers. I'll have to put Biggie in there. Jay. I'll have to put Fifty in there. Fifty. I have to put. It's your top five. It's Jay to kiss. I had to put Jay to kiss. No, Jay, that's nice. Yeah. Cause you know, like I don't, you know, and. I don't really know. I don't know about a fifth. No, I, man. No, I like that. I like that. <laughs> no, no. But, but I need, I need, I need a fifth one. But I like that the fact that you're thinking about it. So let's just recap the top four. The top got, four is and get by the mic. So big, I want to hear this. Okay, we got Biggie, Biggie, Jay. We got Jay, Fifty, Fifty. We got Jada. Jay to kiss. Those are solid, right there. Yeah. The fifth one, I'll have to give it to. You want to go west coast, down south? You want to come out of New York? You want to stay in New York? I'll give it to Drake. 
Bong. I give it to you. Yo, Drake. you know what? Let's toast it. <laughs> yeah, let's toast it that, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's a solid, solid mm-hmm. top five. Mm-hmm. I think uh, that that top five reached all of rap. Yeah, yeah. So, so as we get ready to close on this, let's screw our podcast. Mm-hmm. Go Rosenberg, DJ Gully. Yeah. Devote Father first. Yeah. Kill a DJ second. Yes. And Murderer mm-hmm. at the middays at 103.9. If you want to hear Picasso as, it, as, it, as his best audibly, listen to that right Check there. Check me out. We get ready to close, Gully. Mm-hmm. I give you the magic wand. Boom. You got two wishes. Two wishes. Your first wish. I want to take my show on the road. I want. I think people all over the U.S., all over the world should hear me live. I want to be able to rock in front of 20,000 when I'm just... I, I may be opening up for a, a big act performing or whatever. Speak I want to be able fruition. to talk my... Speak yeah. it into fruition. I want to put it on the road. Boom. Yeah. Second wish. Second wish, I want to be able to have my mom uh, less. I want to be able to get whatever she wants, cause my mom's is like real money hungry. Like not say hungry, but like she money strived. She want that bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I would want her to be like set where she don't have to want some for so much. You know. Mm. Cause you see where she's gr- you know gone through the grind and yeah. really provided. She's a, super hustler. Yeah, yeah super so, hustler. Yeah. Well, you know what, my dude. Every time we close this show, you know, we give our, our our guests those two wishes. And number number, the, the most important thing is that when we talk about these things, it's come to fruition. Mm-hmm. The fact that you came here straight from Corona Queens. Yes. Right. Big mm-hmm. that up. Yeah. And shared your story, accepted our invitation, and we're so open. You know, I salute you, my dude. Appreciate it, man. No, thank you for coming through. And I know you came up the steps, yeah. which was the, the yeah. workout. Yeah. But, you know, once again, thank you. Thank you. SQR Podcast called thank Rosenberg. SQR my boy, Podcast. DJ Gully. Yeah. Bong, 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 bong. We're going to close up, get him on the one and twos. We're yeah. going to rock out something major. Yeah. Yo, check him out every day, middays from 12 to 1, yeah. 103.9. Shaking the world, half the world up. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give a podcast for Rosenberg, <laughs> DJ Gully. We're out here. Bomb. Kick him all in my ass. <laughs>
Niggas is mad, I get more butt than ass trays. Fuck a fair one, I get mine the fast way. Ski mask way, nigga ransom notes. Far from handsome, but damn a nigga tote much. More guns than roses. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.